Was I right to hear that you took your entire team to Bali for a holiday? Yeah, we did. We spent two weeks in Bali together as a team. We uh, we worked there, so it wasn't just a uh, a holiday. It was a working holiday. So we worked um, seven till three. And then after three o'clock, we were just doing team activities. We climbed a volcano. We uh, So wait, you took them driving. on a holiday? Yes. And it didn't even have to count as annual leave. It was They were still at work. They were still at work, correct. You're like yeah. the best boss ever. <laughs> so they say. <laughs> yeah, I know they do say because I saw there were even articles, there were like news articles on, on, yeah. on the media like picked it up. It's a pretty cool story. The boss takes their team to Bali to work. It's kind of like yeah. remote working but with your team. Yeah, it's like exactly. movable office. <laughs> it got a lot of media attention. People kept sharing it and tagging their bosses into it. Like, oh, can we do it? Can we do it? And I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to have a lot of people on my back now. What have you done? <laughs> it's actually really interesting because that's kind of good. Like, I know you're in the digital marketing space, but that is kind of a good way to go viral. Speaking to other business owners, everyone's really struggling finding that talent. Like we we have a massive problem in Australia at the moment, and us including we, we were – searching for months for um, some roles and having those sort of stories. We actually hired two people while we were in Bali. So ha- having that story and kind of bringing the culture of the company and how you are different, it actually helps with recruitment. So that's where the employees are looking for that culture. What else can the company offer for them? What is it in the in it for them in terms of growth and development? And um, it, that's a really big thing for us. Um, everyone has personal development plans. We really kind of take the time to understand what do people want to learn. And sometimes someone starts and they kind of want to go down one path and then actually they're like, oh, I actually find more meaning and I'm more curious about something else. And I think as employers we need to kind of cater for that and support them where, where actually they're brilliant at rather than kind of like putting them into a certain kind of category. Box. Everyone yeah. has their own recipe. It yeah. really depends on the company and the culture and the people that you have. Yeah, Absolutely. and it depends so much on the owner because as the owner, you are you and the culture has so much to do with you that, you know, the people that come work at the company are going to suit you. You are a good leader for them. That's why they're there and that's why they stay. Yeah. And so each company has its own kind of unique flavor in the sense, which is probably it stems from the owner. Yeah. And then supported by the employees. Yeah. Yeah. The employees make it all possible. 